So in today's class we will study how to calculate the factorial of a large number. Um, as you can see uh, the factorial of 100 as input will be this long. Uh, this is approximately like 158 characters. Okay. So how to write the program or understand what how does um, this program actually works and what's the logic behind this. Okay. So to understand that we'll be using array for that and we'll come to uh, we'll come to it like how to use that. Okay, now uh, the most important thing is how to calculate 100 factorial. Okay, because uh, it's such a large number. Now, before that, we need to understand how multiplication works because we're going to use a slightly modification version of it. For example, if I ask you to do, uh, this is a pretty simple question, right? So 15, 1, 4, and 3. What if I ask you to do this thing? What you will do? Do 30 here and 115 here and then you'll straightly add this. There's another way of doing this that is multiply this with this thing. So this is 60 and this is 18 and this is 13. So we get the solution here also. We will use these techniques. What is this technique? Multiply each digit, each digit with this thing and then carry on the carry okay so let's take this um, in some better example F for example if I want to calculate 12 factorial this is 11 factorial into 12 right 11 factorial is um, where yeah 3991 and then 6800 0, 0 into 12 this is what we want to do. Okay, let's see if I can get rid of this. Hmm, okay, where is it? Okay, so it's zero, zero. 12 times eight is how much? And six. Uh, 12 times six, 72, 81, eight carry. Uh, one times 12, eight, 20, right? 12 into 9 is 108 plus 2, 110. So we will write this in unit place. The unit place we will write here and we will carry on this whole thing here. So 12 times 9 is 108 plus 11 we will do. So 9, 1, 1. Again we will write the unit place one and carry on the carry which is 11. So 12 times 3 is 36, 11, 47 and we'll write 47. So 49001600. Zero, 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 zero. Let's see what 12 factorial is. I have have, I've have it here. 49479001600. 4790 Okay. So you know how the multiplication works in this question. So let's um, have some more ground basics before we tackle the program okay. Where is it? okay so the answer of this array will be stored in an array sorry the answer of this question will be stored in an array okay so one factorial is one two is two three is six four similarly four twenty four so the ans uh, the array which we'll have like this is the result say so one is here again this is two again this is six but we'll store it this way not as two four because we know that four is a unit place and this is the tens place right so we'll store the unit place in the unit digit and the tens place and uh, so this is one two three so we'll store unit in the unit and then uh, like the reverse order so if th if the answer is um, say like one two zero or seven twenty our array will look like zero two seven and here it will look like uh, you you get it right you get it and we'll print it in reverse order so we'll get the solution so that is how we'll do now how does the program works okay so let's move to the 
program section you know the logic now okay where is it okay so uh, we'll use gigs for gig solution because it's pretty cool and uh, pretty good actually all credit goes to them for this program uh, now let's see C++ program we define max as 500 uh, we're using this because the answer uh, is uh, 158 characters that like 100 factorial has 158 digits so even if you if you, even if I put like 200 factorial and uh, somehow you know the number of letters in this so that is our max basically how long our array will be um, defines max okay so we'll have uh, we have two functions here the one is multiply and uh, one more where is it yeah the factorial so it's it it works like this so one one function factorial here one second we have is multiply oh. so this will take our input okay so this will take our input and this function will call this function okay and uh, what is the use of this basically uh, you remember how we did 11 factorial into 12 so this thing so uh, suppose we have uh, this will be stored in our res array and this will we'll call this as x the number which is multiplied by the resultant so if we have say 20 factorial and uh, th which is actually sorry um, sorry 20 into 19 into 18 factorial so this will be stored in a resultant and we'll multiply the resultant each time by this and then the resultant will change and then we'll multiply by 20 okay so that is why um, that is how the multiply the multiply function will be used okay let's see the program so we have the resultant which in which we'll store the uh, the resultant which we had so this is like if we calculated this far this will be stored in resultant and then we'll multiply the next number and this and that will be stored in result and at the end we will print the resultant array in reverse order as you can see from this to this okay so what we are doing we are multiplying 2 into 3 into 4 so 2 to n which is which will be 100 eventually in our example so 2 to 100 and each time we are multiplying the resultant with x the resultant array with x okay now why we are uh, returning the return uh, resultant size and storing it in a res size a variable this is um, because the resultant will be stored in an array and we don't know how long the array is actually so for example if our array is this long 1 2 5 7 3 okay whatever and if we multiply it by suppose this is 99 factorial and we multiply it by 100 and our array becomes this long okay so we need to know what is the size of this so that we can print it from the reverse so that is why whenever we multiply it by someone which is x we return its new size okay so that is why we are returning the size here okay now let's see how the multiplication works here so we have our array which has the solution okay of whatever we have multiplied suppose we have multiplied to like 11 factorial and then the then it will be easy to understand and the carry is zero initially whenever a new multiplication starts suppose 11 factorial is stored in res and now we want to multiply it by 12 carry is 0 initially then from 0 to res dot size because we want to multiply each number 
suppose uh, let's see 11 factorial was how much 3991680 so this was our array actually this is not our array it's in reverse order so let's write that no i'll have to remove this sorry guys So, hmm, 11 factorial is 39916800. So, our array, resultant array, will look like right, 00861993. Now, we multiply it by 12. This will be multiplied by this first, and uh, the unit place will be written here and the next after the unit place will be considered as carry and it will be added to the next number okay so that is how it works so let's see what we have here so we multiply we start with zero so we multiply the zero at positions number with x we multiply zero at position number with x remember x is 12 here and uh, then we add the carry so if we have if you remember right when we have something like when the carry is uh, 12 and the multiplication product that we received was 112 we st we write it here in the ar in the uh, here this thing the unit place number and we'll move the carry the next digits after the unit place digits to the carry so how to store the 0th unit place number we mod it with 10 store it in in that position remember when we do multiplication here suppose 6 is multiplied by 12 say 72 so we write 2 here and we give 7 as carry okay so for for this 2 so okay let me explain it with some some, some different suppose the multiplication g comes as 72 to get 2 we do 72 more 10 which is 2 and to get 7 we just do 72 divided by 10 it gives you what 7 okay so you get all those numbers so we uh, so we store the unit place in the array and give the next give the give the adjacent numbers no not adjacent let's call it give the remaining number as carry so for that we do divided by 10 and then we keep on doing it till the rest size now you have a doubt you may have a doubt I think what happens after I multiplied 3 into 12 and say answer comes as 36 I think we added 36 to say 11 yeah 36 and 11 we got 47 and 7 will write there what happens to this 4 this will be given to the carry and if the carry had already 5 then again 4 plus 5 is 9 what to do with the 9 right what to do with 9 okay for that we have this code while we have the carry okay while we have the carry okay where's the it had some color corrections okay anyway while we have the carry keep on adding the carry to the last positions of the array for example let me clear this for example we have suppose the answer is 120 one one 
so we store it in reverse order one one two one you will be confused say the answer is three nine six one one six nine three and after the la after the last multiplication the carry is 13 so we want 3 to be 3 to be here 1 to be here so we get this sorry we get this and we keep it here and uh, then the carry will become 1 and then we add this here and we'll keep on doing it until the carry is is not equals to zero or greater than zero whatever okay you get the idea so we st store the carry mod 10 that is the unit plus digit in the last size of the array which is the last size this is the last size okay this was the last size this was the last size and our carry will be reduced and our resultant size will also increase and we will keep on doing that and after returning the rest size we can just you know print the array in reverse order and we will get the solution so that is how the factorial of a large number works if you have any doubts please comment on the comment box and uh, we'll see you tomorrow okay thanks bye